In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Bonjour à tout le monde. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Ça va? <laughs> Merci. Merci. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. First of all, may I take this wonderful opportunity to thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the many blessings that he bestowed upon us. Secondly, I would like to thank all of you this morning for all that you do to help the children of Haiti, especially the ones at St. Andrew's School. It is my pleasure and privilege on behalf of all of them to thank you and to greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate this Sunday the occasion of the solemnity of the, of the Most Holy Trinity. Celebrating the Most Holy Trinity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the core of our Christian belief in one God who exists in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This belief in God, who is three but also one at the same time, is what made us unique. For we all believe that God, our Supreme Lord and Savior, the creator of all things, and the whole entire universe of all existence and time, is this most holy trinity, the triune God. My friends in Christ, today I stand before you as a servant and faithful priest in the diocese of Haiti, and I must confess to you that life in Haiti is very, very difficult. Despite the hardship in Haiti, I see hope clearly in the eyes of more than 2,000 kids in the school at St. Andrews this year, from kindergarten to 13th grade. I see hope in the eyes of the parents who love to bring their kids to school, especially at St. Andrews School. I see hope in the eyes of the teachers and staff that really dedicate to help this generation. Let me tell you, I will never, never give up this wonderful ministry of educating, teaching, and preaching the gospel of God in Haiti. Never. I am sure you have seen a lot of pictures, and these pictures, they are real. The kids at St. Andrews, they look healthy. I just see them in the pictures, they look really healthy, and they're healthy. You know why? Because we feed them a very hot and very good meal every day. And they love to come to school because they know they get something to eat. For some kids, this is the only meal they get for the whole day. So you can understand why they love to come to school. And also, they love to come to school at St. Andrews because the future is there. And the parents are very proud of them because 
of the speeding program, the kids learn much more better. The grades are better and better. And all our kids, they, very, they do they very good in national exam. And just last week, Satan just beat all the records and became the best number one school in Haiti. Mm. And all of this is possible because of your support and constant presence. I call upon you, upon your generosity, to continue to support St. Andrew's School. You are making a great difference by supporting this great school. We continue to give thanks to our Lord for his constant presence and protection so far. No one in the school, no staff, no kids have been infected. No one by the coronavirus. So no one. No one so far. We're talking about almost 2,000 kids, more than 100 teachers and staff. No one so far. Even in my church, no one has been affected by the coronavirus. So we thank God for that. At the school, we distributed masks, sanitizers to the kids every day. We have water stations for the kids to wash their hands. And we have two nurses at the school. They are doing a fantastic job. We thank them so much. And at the end of this month, we have about 135 kids, boys and girls, that will graduate from high school. And let me tell you, we have more girls than boys now in this school. I don't know why, but I don't know, but we have more girls. So they, the girls are now here, they are taking seriously the study and are happy for them. And they want to become lawyers, doctors, nurses, engineers, pilots, teachers, and so on. There is hope for Haiti. Yes, my friends, you have seen and heard in the news the gangs are killing, torturing, kidnapping people every day. But in Ash, thanks be to God, it's really peaceful. Ash is safe. But the problem is to go to port points or coming from port points to go to Ash. This is the very difficult part. So in order for me to travel from Ash to port points, I have to ride on a bus. So I cannot use my private car because they can, you can get targeted if you're driving a private car so in Haiti. So I use my, I use, I take buses as everyone does to protect myself and to get around. I will never give up, as I said. I will continue my work because Haiti will not perish. We need dedicated people to change Haiti. And your contribution to the school has made a great impact in this community. It's a great school. I thank you for all your support. My friends, I saw kids in the school now. They were in the school now. They're starting their small business. There's hope. Some became doctors. And now they're back in the city to help teachers. And the only way for Haiti to get back on its feet is by way of educating its people. And this is what we're trying to do right now. Teach, educate people. 
We have a program supported by St. Dunstan's where we have kids from the rural areas. We have 24 of them. You know what? They are doing very well at school. And now they are taking, next month, they're taking national exam. And I can assure you, all of them will pass the national exam because they are very good kids. Very intelligent and talented. They are the heroes in our school. As I said earlier in my sermon at 8 o'clock service, in Haiti, the priests wear many hats. I'm not only a priest, I'm also a doctor, an engineer. So I'm, I'm there for the people, for food, for hospital, for everything. Because most people, they rely on the priests to survive. Brothers and sisters, we are facing hard time in Haiti, but there's hope. Pray for Haiti, for our church, for our schools, and we will get there. My friends in Christ, on this Trinity Sunday, the solemnity of the most holy Trinity, let us all renew our commitment to St. Andrew's School, the kids of this wonderful school. They rely and depend on your outreach ministry to move forward. Let us renew our commitment to the love of God. He who is one and yet existing in the perfect harmony of three divine persons. Let us all ask the Father to bless us all to continue to love each other and every one of us of all times and the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to be with us through our journey of faith and life, inspiring us his loving sacrifice on his cross and the Holy Spirit for the guidance and the strength and courage and power to carry out our mission of reaching out people in Haiti and in our community today with faith. May the Lord, the most holy trinity, be with us always and bless us in our every good works and endeavors now and always, forevermore and evermore. Amen. <laughs>